Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May 25th of 2022, well, it is titled the lively center of the Lagoon Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image taken by the Hubble Space Telescope looking at what is called the Lagoon Nebula. And this is an example of an emission region which where light uh, gas is excited by hot stars which have formed and caused to glow. Now with Hubble, we're looking at it in this case at six different wavelengths of light. So six different narrow bands of light that were chosen to match the light emitted by specific elements such as hydrogen. And those would then uh, be put together into a single image. And that allows us to see far more detail than we would get with a normal broadband image looking at all the different wavelengths. So we can focus on just those specific areas and bring out a lot of the detail within the nebula that we might otherwise miss. And as we look at it, we see again a number of different structures within it, including a lot of uh, what we call funnels. So long st stretching uh, pieces stretching out. And these can even be half a light year in size. And what happens is that these are formed by the energetic stars that have already formed. And those stars will then eat away at the material left behind. So once the stars form, they will uh, emit a lot of energy. So a lot of stellar radiation, uh, very strong stellar winds, which will push away material leaving only the denser knots behind. And those denser areas are ones that are still in the process of forming stars. So the star formation has not finished here. It's still ongoing. And as more and more stars form, more material gets eaten away. And there's less material from which to build stars. So eventually the material will be cleared out and we will have just a cloud or just a cluster of stars left behind. And that was what we could expect to see over hundreds of thousands or maybe a million years as this process takes place. So it's a rather slow process, not something that will happen very quickly. And if we were to come back and look at the same part of the sky a decade from now or even a 100 years from now, it would look essentially the same. The time frames that we look at when we talk about stars changing are all much, much longer than a human lifetime. And in fact, many cases we can talk in terms of millions or even billions of years for regions to change. But they are changing on those much larger time frames. And could we come back in a couple million years, this area would look vastly different than it does today. So that was our picture of the day for May 25th of 2022. It was titled the lively center of the Lagoon Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.